Hi, this is Brandon from Tate Talk Tech, back here again with another video. Have you ever found yourself needing to stress your CPU for testing purposes? I have. Recently, I wanted to see how long my laptop battery would last under full CPU load. It took me a while, but I finally settled on a simple solution. I did not want anything fancy, just wanted an application I could quickly run from the command line. Today, I'll show you how to stress test your CPU in one command. But before I get into that, I have a favor to ask. If you if you like this type of video or want to see more content like this, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Also, don't forget to give it a like if you liked the video, dislike if you didn't like the video. Lastly, let me know what you liked, didn't like, or have any questions down below in the comments. Let's get into it. So the command that we're going to be looking at today is going to be stress. All right. And Stress is really just, it's a command that can be utilized to stress test different um, computer components. Now, the three that it supports are hard drives, CPUs, and memories. I will not be covering anything in memory or or hard drives because I've never found any personal use for it. That's something that you want, just do a quick Google search and it'll explain how to do that. But let me put out the command that we're gonna be using here. And don't worry, I will explain what all of this means here in just a second. Now, one of the things that I have accompanying us today is HTOP down here. Because I want to show you what happens when we actually stress out these the CPU core. So let's bring up the let's bring up the man page for stress. So and again here, it just says as the name as I kind of stated already, the tool is used to impose a load and stress test a computer system. So this right here is what we're going to be communicating to the system here is we're going to be communicating stress tac c which is going to be for cpu which you can actually see right there and then we're going to be using tac t which is right here which is timeout and then a timeout after so many seconds all right so in this case we put 30 there so what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and stress it for 30 seconds so let's go ahead and let it run now, what you're going to see down here in HTOP is you're actually going to see four of the cores running at 100%. It's a little congested, and it's it's probably going to jump around as well. But we can see here we got this one running at 100%, this one, this one. All right, and it's going to run for a full 30 seconds, but... It's this is this is a great way for you to do that. And if you if you want to run it perpetually, you can take off the TAC T and then just run it on those on those cores. Now with C, when you're indicating CPU for C for TAC C for CPUs, you need to also indicate how many cores that you want to utilize. Now you're I, I can see a lot of people asking, well, how am I supposed to how am I supposed to know how many cores that I have? Well, let me go ahead and give you that command, ls, cpu, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a grep, and then we're going to do a caret, which is that little arrow there that's on the sixth command on a US keyboard, and then we're going to go do a backslash, then we're going to do a open parentheses, then we're going to do s, and then we're going to do another backspace, and we're going to do a close parentheses, and then we're going to go ahead and put a colon outside of there. And this right here, um, basically what this carry does, it says start with this and these two backslashes, what they're doing is they are, they're canceling out uh, the the parentheses. Because if you if you tried to run this command without those, it's going to try to interpret those those parentheses and we need to go ahead and say, hey, don't, don't um, interpret those parentheses. Now, here in the output, it's going to tell you, oh, CPUs. 16. Now this is a this is a, this is an eight core CPU with 16 threads. So really, when we're looking at CPUs, we're looking at CPU threads and not cores. So keep that in mind. That's how it's going to be distinguished here. Um, is it's going to be distinguished based on the number of threads that are available on your particular CPU. So just keep that in mind before you run this before you run this command. All right. Well, that's pretty much all I've got. So this is. This is one command to stress your CPU. Thank you very much for watching my video and have the greatest of days.